benefits, side effects, who should take it. This video is gonna be everything that you need to know about creatine in three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, I don't know, guys, I'm gonna try my best. Timer has started. All right, let's start with creatine bioenergetics. So creatine is a trio of amino acids, but it's a non-protein, meaning the body doesn't use it to create protein, it uses it to help generate energy for high intensity movements. Our bodies store creatine, but it's constantly being degraded, which means that we have to replenish it either through external sources, food or supplements, or internally, the body can also make it. Our creatine stores hover around 80% saturated, give or take, it depends on diet. Meat is the source of creatine. So if you're vegetarian, you stand to gain the most from creatine supplementation. When you supplement, you saturate your creatine stores so you now have more creatine to help generate more energy to sustain higher intensity exercise for a longer period of time. <laughs> Research backed benefits, strength, speed, power, muscle mass, but also cognition, memory, it's neuroprotective. So if you're in a contact sport, there's some benefit there, but also if you're a woman or man aging, menopause, the cognitive declines, and also the muscle declines might be combated. On that note, men and women can both benefit from creatine. From the research, it looks like men benefit more. Spark notes of the research. Looking at men versus women, it has triggered scientists to look at the dosage protocols to see if they are actually optimized, which is a great segue. How to take creatine. There's two main ways, a loading phase plus a maintenance phase, or just going straight to the maintenance phase. Which option you choose will depend on how patient you are. Do you want to maximize potential results in one week or four weeks? Right now you're like, the obviously one week, you idiot. The caveat is that if you do the loading phase, even though you saturate your creatine stores quickly, you are more prone to side effects of GI upset, gas bloating, diarrhea, extreme thirst. Make sure you hydrate because water follows creatine wherever it goes. Gut, muscles. So that being said, the choice is yours. The loading phase is 20 grams of creatine for about a week, but you spread that 20 grams over the course of a day. You're not just taking 20 grams at once. And then after about a week, you transition to the maintenance phase, which is two to five grams of creatine per day. You might hear people say three to five grams. It's all the same. Ultimately, it's based on your body weight. If you're a bigger guy, you're probably gonna take five grams per day. If you're a smaller petite woman, two or three grams per day. Use your discretion, whatever you feel like you can tolerate. You're really just trying to maintain that creatine, hence the name maintenance phase, because like I said, creatine is constantly being degraded. So the last points, creatine monohydrate is the number one option because it degrades the least during digestion so you retain more of it. If you want to get the best benefit from creatine supplementation, you've got to pair it with resistance training. And that's it. That wraps up this video. Subscribe, all the things. If you don't subscribe, at the very least, give this video a thumbs up. Support your girl. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.